Hey, Chef Jesse here. I can't help myself. Anyway, today, you're probably wondering, what the hell is this guy doing now? Well, today I am cooking, out of tradition. Uh, I should have been cooking an Italian dish today, but I am different, so I do things differently. So, today I am going Chinese, okay? So I'm going to make some easy-made uh, chicken and broccoli. Okay, so I'm gonna teach. I'm gonna show you how to make chicken and bro easy made chicken and broccoli. There's probably a thousand other ways to make it, but I'm gonna show my easy way of chicken and broccoli. Okay, so first of all, I chopped up three uh, chicken breasts, uh, thinly, thin, thin, real thin. You see, I cut it down. I, I cut it, and this is how much I have. And I think I have enough. Uh, I think I have enough chicken in there. Okay, so I'm gonna start first by marinating my chicken, which means. Let me just let you know that when you're working with chicken, you got to constantly wash your hands. Constantly wash your hands, the cutting board, the knife, and everything else that you're using because, you know, you got you to be careful. So, uh, I'm going to marinate my chicken very simple. I'm going to start with one egg in, inside my chicken that I washed. and, and I'm going to start with one egg. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to put one egg into the chicken. There we go. And then I am going to uh, use uh, one teaspoon of cornstarch. Okay, and this is my cornstarch that I use. I'm gonna use a little bit more than a uh, tablespoon. There we go. And uh, this is the, the cornstarch that I'm using today. I just bought this one, Argo cornstarch. Okay, and then I'm going to um, use a tablespoon of, of uh, well, canola oil. Uh, it, it, calls the, it calls for vegetable oil, but in this house, we only have canola oil. So, that's it. So, look how it looks. I'm going to mix it up with my hand, okay? I'm going to mix it up. Very simple. This is, the, this is the, how I'm going to mix up the chicken first, right? So, remember, it's cornstarch, vegetable oil, and one egg, okay? And you mix your chicken in there. With your, with your with all the ingredients, okay, like so with your hands, okay. Now, again, wash your hands. Use Bounty. I use Bounty because it's disposable and I throw it away. Okay, so there goes my chicken marinated in the egg and the cornstarch and the vegetable oil, okay. Now I'm going to put this into the fridge. So I'm going to put that into the fridge for about 10 minutes. But I'm going to, I have to make the sauce now. So I'm going to show you how to make the sauce. I'll be right back. Okay. I got myself a bowl here. Okay. I'm, going to, I'm using one, uh, one cup of chicken broth. That's one cup chicken broth. Okay. And... Uh, if you want to know what chicken broth I use, I use the Swanson. I, I like using the Swanson chicken broth. And um, I'm going to use... I'm going to use a, a quarter cup of... Uh, let me show you. A quarter cup of soy sauce. So, a quarter cup of soy sauce would be... Let me show you. I'm get the soy sauce here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm using a. Uh, I'm using. Uh, uh, let me get this a little bit more soy sauce. I'm using a, a low sodium soy sauce because you know soy sauce is salty. It's got a lot of sodium in it. So I'm using a quarter cup and I'm putting it into the broth. Okay, there you go. Okay, so into this broth, I'm going to put. Uh, one teaspoon, uh, one tablespoon of sugar. If you want to leave the sugar out, you could. Uh, I'm going to add it to it, you know, just to give it flavor. Okay. And uh, I chopped up three garlic cloves, three garlic cloves in here. And uh, put that in there. Okay. And then I also chopped up some finely chopped up uh, garlic. Uh, not garlic. Uh, I just put the garlic in. This is uh, ginger. Okay, so I put my ginger in there, and uh, okay. so 
ginger, finely chopped ginger, finely chopped uh, garlic, one cup of uh, chicken broth, one tablespoon of uh, uh, one tablespoon of sugar, and uh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Here we go. So again, folks. I put the broth in it, I put the, uh, the uh, quarter cup of soy sauce, I put one tablespoon of sugar, I put uh, three cloves of garlic, finely chopped, I put um, one, uh, one ch a little bit of chopped up uh, ginger, and I'm going to put some pepper to taste. I'm using, I like using this pepper that I crush, and okay, that should be enough, and then I'm going to shake it, this is the sauce, okay, this is the sauce that I'm going to save for later. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stir fry the chicken. And then uh, when the chicken is, I'm going to stir fry it for about maybe uh, four to five minutes, just that it's just almost done. And then I'm going to add the, uh, I'm going to add the broccoli. And I'm going to saute it in there. Not too long because I want a little bit of crunch on the broccoli. And then I'm going to throw the sauce on it that I just made. And I'm going to boil it. And then I'm going to bring it to a boil, and then I'm going to put some cornstarch, uh, two tablespoons, two uh, tablespoons of uh, cornstarch with two tablespoons of water, so that the, the sauce can thicken up. And then it's it. It's very simple. And then my uh, my chicken chicken and broccoli is done. And I'm going to make some jasmine rice, and then an egg roll on the side. And I'm going to make some homemade uh, uh, ginseng tea, so green tea actually. So bear with me. Um, if you, if you don't like, if you don't like too much sauce, you can cut back on the broth. I like a lot of sauce because I like to pour in it over the rice. So, but you can adjust it to your tasting. Let me see how this tastes. Let me see. Mmm. This is amazing. This sauce is amazing. So I'm going to set the sauce to the side. Okay. I got my chicken, uh, marinating in the fridge for 20 to 30 minutes and then I'm going to start cooking it and I'm going to make the rice and then we're going to eat. So stay tuned for the second part of this video where I show you how it's done. Okay, see you guys later.